Australia's defense strategy is undergoing a profound transformation, and one of its most ambitious symbols is the Ghost Shark program, a fleet of autonomous undersea vehicles designed to extend the Royal Australian Navy's reach and resilience. More than a weapon, Ghost Shark represents the convergence of artificial intelligence, robotics, and maritime strategy, signaling Australia's determination to assert control beneath the waves of the Indo-Pacific without relying solely on crude submarines. Developed by Anderil Industries, a defense technology firm founded by Palmer Luckey, Ghost Shark embodies the Silicon Valley ethos of disruption within the defense sector. Anduril established its first factory outside the United States in Sydney, marking a decisive shift in Canberra's industrial policy. Defense technology innovation would no longer be imported. It would be cultivated on Australian soil. The government's commitment of roughly 1.7 billion Australian dollars over five years underscores that this is not a prototype experiment, but the nucleus of a sovereign robotics industry. Ghost Shark is a class of extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicles designed for long-range operations and modular payloads. Measuring about 30 meters in length and displacing around 200 tons, it can patrol more than 1,000 kilometers autonomously. Each hull can be configured for intelligence collection, undersea surveillance, payload delivery, or even torpedo carriage. Its autonomy is powered by adaptive artificial intelligence navigation and sensor fusion systems that can interpret terrain, avoid detection, and communicate through low bandwidth acoustic links. Integration with manned submarines, P-8A Poseidon aircraft, and MQ-4C Triton drones creates a layered network of undersea situational awareness previously beyond Australia's reach. Strategically, Ghost Shark is an answer to two urgent challenges. The first is geography. Australia must monitor enormous oceanic approaches stretching from the Indian Ocean to the Pacific. The second is competition. China's People's Liberation Army Navy is rapidly expanding its submarine and underwater drone capabilities, challenging the freedom of navigation and surveillance in nearby waters. By fielding unmanned submarines, Canberra can project presence across vast distances without risking crews or revealing nuclear assets. The logic is asymmetric. Rather than matching China vessel for vessel, Australia seeks to complicate its adversaries' calculations with a swarm of low-cost, high-endurance ghosts beneath the surface. In comparison with American and British efforts such as the Orca XLUUV or the Manta program, Ghost Shark is being developed with a fraction of the budget and an emphasis on affordability. The concept of affordable mass underpins Canberra's approach. Many autonomous systems, each individually expendable, can together provide strategic persistence. This model also aligns with Australia's broader ambition to develop a sovereign defence industry capable of serial production rather than dependence on imports. More than 40 domestic suppliers, including Thales Australia and Boeing Defence Australia, have joined the project, creating a nationwide supply chain that links mechanical fabrication in Perth, sensor integration in Adelaide, and artificial intelligence software in Canberra. Ghost Shark's success would mark a turning point for Australia's industrial autonomy. It is being treated as a sovereign autonomy test case, a pilot for how artificial intelligence systems can be conceived, built, and fielded domestically.
If effective, the same model could extend to airborne or land-based robotics, anchoring a new high-tech pillar within the national defense economy. The collaboration between Anduril and local industry also demonstrates a pragmatic hybridization. American software expertise fused with Australian engineering and regional operating knowledge. This synthesis may become the foundation for future AUKUS technology cooperation, particularly in undersea surveillance and data fusion architectures. Yet, the technological promise is shadowed by significant risks. Autonomy in lethal systems raises ethical and legal questions. How much decision-making can be delegated to algorithms operating beyond communication range? Cybersecurity presents another vulnerability. Undersea platforms depend on encrypted control links and data storage that must resist intrusion from state-sponsored hackers, particularly from China. Industrial dependency is also a concern if key software remains proprietary to Anduril in the United States, Australia's sovereignty could be constrained despite local assembly. Canberra will need a clear regulatory and security framework governing lethal autonomous weapons and data ownership to ensure true control over its new fleet. Beyond technology, Ghost Shark carries deep geopolitical resonance. For decades, Australia's deterrence posture relied on alliance integration and imported systems. This project signals a more confident phase, one where Australia contributes original capabilities to the allied network. In regional terms, the deployment of autonomous submarines strengthens surveillance over choke points such as the Timor Sea, the Arafura Sea, and the approaches to the South Pacific. These zones are vital not only for defense, but for trade, energy, and digital cable infrastructure. Ghost Shark thus supports both military and economic security, blurring the boundary between defense and national development. The program also reflects a cultural shift within the Royal Australian Navy. Traditionally dominated by heavy platforms and cautious procurement cycles, the service is learning to integrate rapid innovation and iterative prototyping an influence drawn directly from Anduril's technology background. Early testing emphasizes agile updates rather than decade-long design freezes. This mindset could spread across other branches of the Australian Defence Force, accelerating modernization far beyond the submarine domain. By the early 2030s, Canberra hopes to field a fleet of at least five or six operational ghost sharks, possibly linked with the forthcoming AUKUS nuclear submarines as remote scouts or decoys. Export prospects are already being discussed quietly. Japan, South Korea, and possibly Canada might find interest in an affordable autonomous undersea system built to Western standards. Such partnerships would reinforce Australia's emerging role as a regional defence innovator rather than a mere consumer. Ghost Shark's broader meaning lies in how it redefines deterrence. Instead of massing visible hardware, Australia is investing in invisibility, persistence and data. Autonomy allows endurance in contested environments where communications are jammed and risks are high. It transforms the ocean floor into an active layer of surveillance and, if needed, retaliation. This form of deterrence, dispersed, intelligent, and cost-efficient, may prove essential for smaller democracies facing major power coercion in the 21st century. Ultimately, Ghost Shark embodies Australia's new maritime philosophy, deterrence through innovation, sovereignty through technology. It stands at the intersection of industry, strategy and imagination. A silent fleet 
built not for show, but for endurance. If successful, it will prove that Australia can shape the future of undersea warfare through intellect and partnership rather than sheer tonnage. Beneath the calm surface of the Indo-Pacific, the next contest for supremacy is already underway, and the quiet hum of Australia's ghost shark signals that the nation intends to swim ahead of the storm 